Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I want to introduce you to Orion schematic diagram tool. So this schematic diagram tool is one of the best schematic tool that I have seen so far. So as you can see this is the interface of the tool when you just open the tool and I'm going to show you all the features in this tool and what you can how you can use the tool and the things that the tool can easily help you with when you are repairing mobile phone. This tool is very important if you are repairing mobile phones and even laptops. So I'm going to show you everything about the tool so that you can go for the tool knowing that you will be able to get these as soon as you purchase the tool. So when you just open the tool then you will have this display right here we have this tab right here which is the recent file so you can see that these are the files that i have opened so you can see that this is infinix not 4 in which i was checking on i opened the bin mapping the sub layout which is the pcb numbered board i have the guidelines in which i open so you can check the recent files in which you have opened right here so in this other side this is the most important thing about this tool right here so you know that schematic tools do update new phone models and old phone models daily so with this tool it displays everything and every model that it updates on each date so you can see right here just today which is 28 you can see that it has updated new phone models right here so you can see that this is the guideline update these are the phone models that the schematic team have updated right here and the schematic updates you can see that they have updated a couple of macbook schematics right here and bit mapping you can see that a lot of macbooks right here so yesterday which was 27 you can see too their updates right here so this update it's very important because maybe you are trying to work on a phone then you check the schematic of that particular phone like today you check the particular schematic of that phone then you don't see the schematic on this software so if you are not able to get it then you can keep checking on the update because they keep updating new files and when you open each time you can just check on right here check on these dates to see if they have updated of the updated a schematic of that model so after you are done watching this video kindly check and you want to purchase the tool then kindly check the video description you will see a link that will direct you to the official website in which you can purchase the tool from the website and if you don't know how to use schematic diagrams like you don't know how to read schematic diagrams then make sure that you message me using this number on the screen right here because i have a complete mobile repairing course that will teach you the basics of mobile repairing to the professional level of troubleshooting mobile fault. So as soon as you message me then I will give you more info about the course and if you are ready to learn then you are going to register for the course. So the course, the price is very fair and if you are ready to learn that wouldn't be a problem to you. So once you are done understanding this uh, welcome interface right here this welcome page we have this small menu right here at the left top corner right here when you click on it this is where everything goes so you can see that when you click on right here it will open this page right here which we have laptop and notebook schematics right here so if you have been if you are working on laptops you can view all laptops schematic right here have asa have all the models right here you can view all schematics right here and the laptop page do not have bin mapping so these are only schematics with no board views you understand so the sweetest thing because most of you are watching these videos are working on mobile so this tool doesn't disappoint when you purchase it to repair mobile phones so you click on mobile right here you will see that it has all those mobile phones brands right here like you can say most of them and it has most of the models and keeps updating daily you understand so you can see the iphones right here you can see and most of you guys in africa this tool is very good because you can see models like uh, phone brands like itel it has almost all the the schematics you understand we have techno we have infinix so I'm going to show you how you can operate this tool. So for example, this new tab that I open right here, uh, Infinix Note 4. I'm going to find the Note 4 right here. You can see all the Infinix models right here. And you can see these little icons right here. So if you see these icons, you will know that these models only have a schematic, not a bin mapping. 
and not a guideline so if you see this model like this hot tool right here you see these three icons right here it means that this particular model has a schematic it has a bit mapping then it has a guideline so what is this guideline that i'm talking about so let me just roll down right here to this model in which i have already opened the pages right here so if i close it you will see that it has three icons and this is very nice you cannot see this for all models but like i say they keep updating everything day by day you understand so as soon as you open it you will see that it has a lot of files right here and you can view this file and use them to repair if you need schematic you can open your schematic right here which i will show you the interface you can open your schematic right here if you need the schematic layout which is the pattern number you can open it the guideline which is very important for jumper so using this guideline you might not need to go through schematic to be able to know where you can jump uh, or using bit mapping so if you see these models with these three dots right here you will see that you can easily use them to repair without having to go through these schematics so if i open right here you will see that we have the guideline which shows you jumper solutions we have the lawyer then we have the support as well so let me show you the interface right here because i just opened them so this part number right here it shows every part in which an ic is being placed and it shows the number of that ic so if you are using if you are troubleshooting a fault using schematic diagrams you will need to use this part number to know where that particular ic is that is why all these ICs on the pcb you will see that they are being numbered so when you are trying to troubleshoot using this schematic right here for example using this schematic right here and you want to check maybe this coil you want to check this resistor these capacitors what you are going to do is that you see the number right there right so you can simply copy the number from this schematic tool then you are going to come to this other tab right here press ctrl f when you press the ctrl f you type the number right there as soon as you have searched the number then the part number will show you exactly where that ic or that little component or resistor capacitor is on the pcb so this is very important when you are reading schematic diagram because it enables you to easily know the location of any ic you understand so we have the subbot schematic right here it shows all the connectors and all the components in the subbot and we have the subbot layer right here as well so you can see the subbot layer right here which is very important when you are reading the schematics as well because if you are troubleshooting right here you want to know where this pin is you want to know where this capacitor this diode is right here you just take the number then you come search it right here so this is just like I'm giving you tips on how you can start reading schematic diagram but this is not what this video is all about you understand I just want to highlight you the things that this tool can do once you do that you come to any page you press ctrl s then you can input the number and search and it will show you the exact location of the tool so we have our guideline right here which is one of the most suited features to me about this tool so this guideline easily enables you to know how you can jump at certain points on a mobile pcb and it gives a lot of categories right here so if you check right here you will see that if you want to jump uh, like the sim click on sim right here it will show you how you can jump uh, all these pins where the pins are going to directly in case you have a broken pin or a part that is built of the pcb then you can use this guideline to simply do that same as for screen right here we have screen jumpers right here we have camera then we have audio so maybe you have a broken track or you have flex the flex that is going to the sub board is broken then you want to jump out the audio the mic or blah 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 then what you have to do you just come to this store right here check if the model has this guideline then you will easily do that without having to use schematic diagram so for example if i want to if i was troubleshooting some problem on a on this infinix note 4 then i want to do jump i don't know where i'm going to do that as soon as i come right here i click on audio right here then you will see that we have the speaker tracks right here which has which are coming to this filter resistors right here 
then we have this IC right here which is the sound IC so you will see that it's coming to the connector which is going down to the sub board you understand which means that if I easily jump our cables right here from this sound filters right here then my sound will be good to go so this is how interesting and how helpful this tool is in case yeah, you are doing mobile repairing so we have the other part right here which is the big deal we which is the bit mapping so this part is very nice as well because it shows you where pins are connected to you understand so if I click on right here click on any part right here it will show you where that part is connected to so maybe you are trying to to solder something or maybe you are trying to see check an open circuit then as soon as you simply click on any point it will show you where that point is connected to let me check right here for example let me check the battery connector the V part if you check if I click on the V part right here it's going to show where the V part is connected to all points in which the V part is connected to so if I zoom in right here you will see that we have the the U2202 which is the supposed to be the charging IC right here I think so you will see that this V part if it's broken right here if the track is broken right here in the battery connector you can simply do a jumper from this uh, pin that are indicating this red light right here you can simply do that and you can see the pin in which that v part voltage is connected to the power ic so you can see right here it's just one pin so you can see this tool is very important and like i said if you want to purchase this tool just click on the link in my video description and if you want to learn complete mobile repairing make sure that you message me using this number right here on the screen and i'm going to give you more info about the course so thank you and see you soon